This is Rodolfo Gutierrez with Go Engineers Tech Support Engineering Squad. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create material specific piping for all of your routing. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you have to do is launch the task pane to the right hand side of the graphics screen and then find under routing, piping, and pipes, find the piping prototype. Okay. What we're going to do here is we're going to create a copy of this pipe so that when we create a route, we have a multiple selections instead of just one prototype to choose from. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it. And as you can see, there is no material assigned. And if you go to the file properties, there is no custom property for material or configuration specific property for material either. First, we'll need to create a copy of it. So I'm going to call it SS for stainless steel pipe. We'll save it as a copy and continue. We'll close down the original, don't save it. And now when you go back to that same folder, you'll see once you refresh, you'll see that you now have a second prototype. Let's go ahead and open that guy up. Pay attention to the color. After we apply a material, you'll see that the color is going to change. For now, it's pink. Okay. Now, there are a couple of ways to assign material. So the first way is to right-click and edit material. And then uh, under your SOLIDWORKS materials or custom materials, you can choose the material that you want. So in my case, I'm going to choose stainless steel. And then for configuration, make sure you select all configurations hit OK and then apply and close it the first thing you'll notice is that the color changed and that's because it's referring to the default color for stainless steel the second thing is going to be to add a custom property to all of the configurations and the way to do that is under custom properties go ahead and drop this down to material for the value, you can drop this guy down to material as well and see that it is referring to the stainless steel. Now keep in mind, this custom property is going to be for all of all of the configurations. Okay, If you have a material property under the configuration specific tab, this will override your custom material property. Okay, So make sure you only have the material property under custom. We're going to hit OK and then we're going to save it. You can exit out of it now. So now let's go ahead and test it to make sure that it works. So I'm going to open an assembly and then I'm going to start a route using let's say a stainless steel flange. Hit OK. Yes, let's go ahead and save that assembly now. We'll just save it on our desktop. Yes, I want to replace it. All right, here's the magic. You, what you want to do is for this section here for pipes is referring to the pipe prototype. Now, if you have route specification turned on, you, this area is going to be grayed out. Okay, so if you want to select, if you want to select a different pipe prototype, unselect route specification, and this will become available to you. So hit the browse to button. Go ahead and select your stainless steel pipe. Accept that. And here we go. So you see the color of the pipe refers to the stainless steel uh, color for that material. So now let's go ahead and open this and create a drawing for it. We're going to save all, make a drawing. Let's create a bill of materials. And you'll see that the material that it's being called out is the correct one. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Rodolfo with Go Engineer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.